I've already filmed this three times. Okay. Hello! Welcome to Five Girls, Five Minutes. I'm Sarah, and it is Monday, and I have a kitten behind my camera who is recovering from surgery, and but she's doing really well, so that's awesome, and I'm going to shut up about it now. Okay. Favorite toy was asked. So, my favorite toy growing up was a green bedtime bear, Care Bear. And I don't know why he was green, because the bear in the cartoon was actually blue. But I stole him from my sister when I was three, and I carried him around with me up until I was about 12. Um, I don't carry him with me anymore, but I still have him in a toy box, because it's sentimental value. Penguin, I swear if you knock the camera off the chair, I'm going to kill you. Um, <laughs> height! I'm five foot two, which is awesome, because we're all short. I might be a little taller, I might be five foot two and a half, but I'm pretty much just five two. I always put that on forms and stuff. Um, lost sense. If I had to lose a sense, I could lose the sense of smell, like Tally said, because my nose usually doesn't work that well, which sounds really sad, but, like, during the spring and during the winter, I can't smell because my nose is just too busy being, like, overwhelmed with sniffles. So I could live without it because I'm used to living without it lots of months of the year. The sense that I could not lose, I would be devastated, is my sense of hearing, and I've already half lost it because I can't hear in this ear. So that's a sense that I'm always worried that I'm going to grow up and not be able to hear anymore. And it's probably going to happen, but at least I would be able to have a hearing aid. For this ear, I can't even have a hearing aid. I would have to get a cochlear implant for this ear. And that's major surgery and that frightens me. Um, but yeah, I, I couldn't live without that sense. I don't know what I would do, because I listen to music and stuff all the time. Um, anyway, other things that I have to talk about. Oh, my cue for tea. So I saw Sarah Vowell on Saturday, and she was talking about Abraham Lincoln because she wrote a book about presidential assassinations called Assassination Vacation, where she basically goes to all the locations where they were assassinated. Um, and she was talking about the Gettysburg Address, and the anniversary is actually November 19th, which is this week. So I want to know who your favorite president is. Um, everybody has one, and Sally probably has a favorite um, government official that, from the past or from the present. Maybe she likes Tony Blair. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so yeah, who's your favorite president? Um, and why? My favorites are, I really like Lincoln, and I really like Thomas Jefferson. They're both very literary tall, shy, smart presidents. Um, and I, I really think that our country would be vastly, vastly, scarily different without those two. So, yeah. Um, otherwise, Conan. I'm so happy that Conan is back on TV. I watched this week and it was awesome and I'm gonna watch him until the rest, until the end of my life. Unless he goes off the air again, but I, I hope he won't. Um, I, I think that TBS is actually a good place for him because he's able to be more free. Um, oh, you can see my shirt. It's my Rocky Horror Picture Show shirt. Um, which kind of relates to something I talked about a few weeks ago. But anyway, so I'm really excited to have Conan back on my television and back in my life. Um, NaNoWriMo is going swimmingly. I have a new goal for myself, and I have to do it today because I haven't started writing today. But it's I'm writing 3,000 words a day instead of the 1,667 that NaNoWriMo, the website, wants you to do. If I get to 3,000 every single day, I will be able to finish early, and that would be awesome. I don't know why I suddenly have this desire to finish early. I just think it'd be kind of cool for myself to be like, yeah, I finished a novel in less than 30 days. Um, Sarah Bell, which I already mentioned, was awesome on Saturday. Um, I went to see her. She's an author, and she's cool and smart and... She really likes history, and I know Tally really likes history, so it doesn't surprise me too much, actually, that you like Sarah Bell. Um, and then I wanted to talk briefly about Esther. I still have a little bit of time. I'm rereading Paper Towns, and that kind of brought it up, and I also just got this in the mail. Esther Earl was a nerdfighter. She was big in the nerdfighter community, and she just recently died in August of thyroid cancer. And so the DFTBA.com records website is selling these This Star Won't Go Out bracelets to raise money for families affected by the loss of someone to cancer and to cancer patients as well. All of the proceeds are going to help and I think it's seven dollars right now and every little bit of that goes to help cancer families and cancer patients and stuff like that so I think it's really an awesome thing and 
I wear it every day with pride and remembrance because I really like her. I, act I wrote a song for her for her birthday. And then she died. She died a few weeks after her birthday, which is very, very unfortunate. But yeah, so that's why I'm wearing this. And so I hope you guys are having an awesome week. Or it's Monday, but I hope you do have an awesome week. And Tara, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.